to a welcome back to another vlog and in the words of Mariah Carey it's time yeah I want about the screen <laughs> but yes it is that time and so let me show you guys real quick the tree is up I put it up yesterday I fluffed it out as much as I could I can tell from here that it needs us it still needs a lot of fluffing out still but let me bring you guys closer because for you guys who are new, so you guys can see my tree, let me turn on the light over here. I don't know how well you can see it. Okay, enough, but I have a cashmere tree. In person, it is gorgeous. Like I said, I just put it up yesterday and I fluffed it out as much as I could, but I was very, very tired. I didn't get off work until eight. And then I still had some running around to do like last minute grocery shopping because today is Wednesday. It is the day before Thanksgiving. And so you know how that goes. And I came home today and I have on my pajamas as if I don't have to go back to the store because we don't have greens. But anywho, I'll go with this tree just a little bit later, but yes, y'all, the tree is up and I really need to do like a lot of, lot more fluffing, but let me move back just so you guys can see. And then I don't know if you can tell it's twinkling. So I always buy a pre-lit tree regardless. I have to have a pre-lit tree and then I also string it myself with extra lights and I always get twinkling lights because it's such a vibe. It's a, such a vibe. So yes, a cashmere tree is, is gorgeous, baby. Like, uh-uh, I don't do the flock. The flock is so messy. It's, it's pretty because it gives you like that, um, you know, that outdoorsy vibe where snow has fallen on a tree, but the mess that you have to deal with, baby, not for me. It's not for me. So yes, this is my, this is my tree. It's a cashmere tree and it's gorgeous. My, um, my garland that's going to go um, right there, it is also a cashmere garland. It's actually the match to the tree and both of those I got from at home. So right now I am getting ready to cook the rest of the sweet potatoes so that all of the pies are done. I still have pie crust left and I'm not playing those games. Last year I had pie crust left. I didn't go back to the store to buy more sweet potatoes and I ended up throwing them out. But when I went back out yesterday, I got some more and that should cover it. And while those are cooking, I am going to be indulging in more pie because baby, so good. I took my aunt, one of my aunts, um, her pie that I, I make, when I make my sweet potato pies, I take one to her every year. I've been doing this for forever, forever. The only one year I didn't take her one was last year and that was because for whatever reason, I forgot the butter. So, you know, like I let the pies, you know, set in the refrigerator overnight. First thing in the morning, baby, let me get that coffee. Let me get that piece of pie. And I just knew something was wrong with it. And I'm just like, it's like this, what's going on? And I was like, I forgot the freaking butter. And so if it's not done or anything I do, if it's not done the way it's supposed to be done, I'm not gonna pass it along. So she didn't get one last year. And so I made it my business to make sure that she got hers early. And so I took it over there. Today when I left the hairdressers and so, um, she's, she's in a bob. She's, she's giving the Dora, but I pulled it back a little bit. Um, you know, I still have that issue with my bang growing out. And so I remember back in the day, bang would be banging. 
right? The bang will be all the way down to my lips. But now it is what it is. Um, she did bump it because of course, once I wrap it for the night, when I let it down, it's gonna be flat. And so um, normally I don't like any bumpage to my hair, but I don't mind when she does that the very first day. Cause again, once I wrap it, it's gonna go flat and it'll be giving me the vibe that I want then. But yeah, finally got my silk press. Hair is looking really, really good, even, and we'll just see how it grows out from here. That's pretty much it. I need to check on Target because I'm thinking that the doormat that I saw, it was either from Target or at home. And I have a $5 gift card from Target. And so if it's from Target, I need to order it. I need to order it for pickup because let me show you guys the few things that I got from TJ Maxx and um, Marshalls. So in my last vlog, you guys saw the wreath that I took back. And the only reason why I wasn't completely sold on it was because of like all of that gold. Like I'm just not a gold girl like that. And that's just really kind of like not my vibe. It didn't even give me like the color scheme that I have. Um, there was another wreath that I wanted that actually had like that brown and everything in it, but the, the ribbon on it was just a little bit too janky and I didn't want to be bothered with it. But just that whole like uh, wrap of just like twig and wood and all that embellishment at the bottom, it was absolutely gorgeous. But I did take that back and I purchased this one from... TJ Maxx which was half the price. And I think it fits the aesthetic just a little bit more. Well, it fits the aesthetically perfectly, if you ask me. Because it does incorporate the black, of course. It incorporates the black, of course. And then the berries. On camera, it looks brighter than it really is, but this cranberry color, it fits the vibes very, very well with just that pop of like that dark red that I have going on. And then this like balsam fur, it is so nice and it feels, you know, really nice too. It gives a very realistic feel and I like this type of greenery, like this is my thing. And then you have your cute little acorns. That was something else I was looking at. I was trying to find in Target, but I didn't. So I'll probably have to look it up. But there's like these little scented sticks that you can stick in your trees and your wreath and it'll give off like a actual, like natural scent. I think some of them are like cinnamon or you can get some that's like balsam, but it'll give off a scent like from your trees and your wreath. So I'm also looking for those as well. And then it just has the words joy. Yes, love that. So this is my ring, something really cute and simple. And then I just have the command strips to throw that up because it has that hook right there. So yeah. So it's just going to be the wreath and the mat that I'm going to purchase. And I want to go back to Marshall's because you know how sometimes when you smell a candle in a candle store, like Bath and Body Works or even in Marshall's, there's a lot going on, right? So you can't always get the true scent until you bring it home. So I bought two new candles, which also fit the vibe, but I want to go back and get some more because I'm ready to burn them already. What time is it? It's only almost four o'clock. It feels so late. Man, it feels so late. It feels like it's seven o'clock, damn near eight. I did pick up the Cranberry Evergreen. This is the Sand and Paws. I don't mind. The cover does not matter to me. It was the actual color of the glass. And then I have like some of that super goo type stuff to get this sticker off because I want the glass to um, be the star of the show because it fits the vibe. But I don't mind the sand and pause because it has like that neutralizing 
uh, whatever they have in it. But you know, like when you're doing a lot of cooking and stuff like that, it'll help neutralize those odors. And so I don't mind the sand and pause candles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm finna go outside. I am... <laughs> hey, it is what it is. I'm getting ready to... Um, put these sweet potatoes on and I'm going outside. Yeah. It's it's that it's good. It's giving of course that cranberry, but it's giving that Christmassy undertone as well. It's the sand and paws cranberry evergreen. These are the 7.99 size. So I got two of those. They actually have four of them in store. And I'm getting ready to go back. I'm getting ready to go back because I want to see if they still have them. And then I don't have any plates for Thanksgiving. All of their plates were just Christmas, 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 Christmas. And I'm not getting ready to drive all around the world today. I'm just not. Um, while I'm out, I might try to see if I can find some green somewhere. But if not, I don't give a damn. But yeah, I got two of these. And if you like cranberry scents, mix in with that Christmassy, it's good. It's really, really good. I'm here for it. I'm ready to burn these now. And then I did read up on disposable cups. I remember, I think I had this one last year, the same one, the fa-la-la-la, because it's, it fits the aesthetic. It's the white, it's the black, it's the neutral tones. This is the one that we're drinking out of right now with the gingerbread, same aesthetic, right? Same aesthetic. I think we have like maybe two more because my guy, I, when I make his coffee and tea, he leaves the house with these. And on days like this where I have to leave the house, instead of fixing my coffee in a mug, I put it in my to-go. And so we had to re-up, so I got those. That is my haul so far. I'm getting ready to do a few things. Get the sweet potatoes going. I want to check to see if that doormat is actually from Target. Because if it is, I can go run in Target and grab it. Because I'm ready to put my wreath up and whatnot. And I want them out there at the same time. And I want to go in Marshalls. <coughs> and get the rest of these candles if they still have them. And possibly find some plates or something to eat off of. That we can throw away. You feel me? Because the thing is, the ones that they have has all of that, like, foil detail and stuff on it. So, you can't put it in the microwave. Otherwise, it'll start a fire. Um, so, I'm probably just going to have to choose something anyway and just have something around here that we can heat the food up without um, using those plates and, and whatnot. So, yeah. This is the start of Vlogmas Week 1. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, you guys, I'm just sitting here snacking. I placed my order because the 
doormat was at Target and it was only $13, but I had a $5 gift card. So, you know, I'm going to blow it. So I used it on that. For the back door, I'm just going to get a boot tray because when all that snow hits and all that salt and stuff is getting all on the bottom of our shoes and we're carrying it up the stairs because it's going to get carried up the stairs and into the house, I need a boot tray um, so that um, instead of just leaving the boots and stuff on the staircase, like on the carpet, they can be taken off and put on the boot tray to collect, you know, all that salt and whatnot. So that's all I'm going to do for the back door. Um, the front door is where I kind of want all of the decor. And I didn't do any of that last year. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just pretty much just chilling. I need a breather. I need a breather because I've been running today. I got up early to go to the hair salon. Then I took one of my aunts, her pie. I can tell y'all, I have a lot of aunts. I have a lot of aunts. On my dad, yeah, on my dad's side, it was nine kids, seven girls, two boys. Hence, one was my dad. But we've so far, we've lost three um, of the aunts. And then on my mom's side, it's just four, and we've lost two. And the aunt that I take sweet potato pie to every year, I've been doing it probably for a decade or so. She's the oldest one, and she's in her 80s. I think she said she's 82. And she looks real, real well. I got so scared this morning when I called her, and she didn't answer the phone. And it's like, you know, she won one, two rings. She, hello? You know, so she called me back, and I was like, I called you earlier. Where was you at? She was like, I went to the store. So <clears throat> when I got to her house to take her the pie, I said, how you get to the store? And she, I, I, on the bus. I took that one by myself, and I'm like, what? I want to be like you. I want to be like you and your ages, baby. Still getting out, busting the moves. One of my other aunts, um, she's very close to being 80. Baby, we was at church the other day, and she's still wearing her YSL heels, honey girl, getting down, okay? Traveling, all that good stuff. And so I pray that I live a long life, and I'm mobile in my right mind. You know what I'm saying? Just all of that. Yeah. Um, but I, what did I do after that? I went to Express because I bought these ugly ass stirrup leggings. <laughs> they weren't ugly, um, on the website, but when I got them, I was just like, the epic fail, epic fail. So I went and took those back and then I ended up trying on a lot of stuff in store as well. And I came home with an outerwear piece that's, it's like, um, sweatshirt material type, like trench coat. Um, but it's it's not for this weather. It could be, but it was clearance and it was marked down. So I was just like, this is cute. You know, one of those days when you got on like a graphic tee or, you know, you got on a hoodie and jeans or some joggers. It's like real chill like that. Y'all know my vibe. So, um, yeah, now I'm back home um, doing all of the things. Just recorded a video, hence why I have on makeup. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to chill out, finish my snack and go ahead to Marshall's and see what they got going on. Because the biggest pot that I have is only a five quart and I'm figuring I may need something like a seven quart or a bigger so that I can cook all of these oxtails at once. And I don't have a slow cooker or what do you call those things? Like, um, not a, it's, I was going to call it a pressure cooker. Um, it's not a slow cooker, a crock pot. I don't have either of those and it just might be more cost effective if I just buy a bigger pot that's not so expensive because I'll use it more than I would probably like the slow cooker or whatnot. So I'll go see what that's about because Target does have a lot of like slow cookers and crock pots on sale right now, hence because it's Thanksgiving. So if push come to shove, I will buy one, but I just rather get like a real big pot. And you know, my stove is one of those that has like that simmer eye on it. And so I can still slow cook it on that eye and it should, It'll give the same effect. You know what I'm saying? 
So yeah, that's all I got going on. I'll see you guys probably in Marshalls. you guys so i'm over here chopping veggies for the dressing celery mushroom and then i have onion here i'm gonna put that in here refrigerate that for tomorrow but i was just thinking you know it's that time of year where i like to indulge in a cute little cocktail and why is it that i have the ingredients in the refrigerator here we're going to get the Douce Baby. And the only thing I don't have is ice. But um, it is what it is. <laughs> I do have a shaker. I just don't have ice. And so everything is cold. So I should be okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix it. And that's going to be the cocktail. I wish I had cranberries because I would garnish it. Or, you know, if I had like a rosemary or something, I can garnish it. But we're just going to work with what we have because I didn't even know that I still had orange bitters left. And this is a whole new thing of juice. Because I drank the other one. And I'm half gone on this one. And I was getting thirsty. And girl, I've been in here cooking and doing all of the things. And so we're going to have a cocktail. I totally deserve this. Totally deserve this. And I am so happy to be off work. I want to do a double shot. The orange bitters, I am going to do one shot. That's pretty much all is needed for this cocktail and juice. And I'm just gonna wing it. I don't have any ice. That's so ghetto. But the key is that it's mixed. And I can tell by shaking it that is cold. Because everything has been in the refrigerator um, except the douce itself. But I can tell just from shaking it, it's cold. Then I have my cute little cocktail glass here. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Perfect. My Wednesday is already over. We have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I have a good few days off of work. I can dig it. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Okay. So if you guys are a fan of cranberries, it's a cute little cocktail here. Just three simple ingredients. I think that's all you need is just these three. I mean, you could add simple syrup maybe, um, but I think this is it. And of course you could do it with vodka. And so, yeah, that's the drink. Let me finish cooking. This is an eight quart stock pot, which I feel like should be perfectly fine. It's only $25 and it's a tea fall. So that's a brand that's trusted and I know. Um, Cause other than that, I don't see anything else. Okay guys, the doormat just got here. Um, I forgot to tell y'all yesterday, I did order it online for pickup, but it was not available in store, even though they said they had two available. So whenever that happens, you can always choose to pick it up at another store or cancel it if you don't want it or have it shipped to you for free. Because with Target, I think you have to spend at least $35 before you can get free shipping. And what I learned is that when you order in store for pickup and that store is out of stock, just go ahead and let them ship it. Because one time I asked to have it picked up at another store and once it gets to that part and they don't have it either, it cancels out your order and then you have to reorder and all this and that. So whenever I order anything and it says, and it comes back out of stock, just go ahead and ship it. So today is actually Thanksgiving. I was just talking to y'all yesterday. It shipped last night and they just delivered it. Overnight delivery. Come on through Target. Come through Target. So yeah, um, my guy put the command strip up. Um, so we're going to let that sit for a minute. But I guess I can go ahead and put everything up because it's been up there for a while. So I guess the adhesive should be on there. Like it needs to be and I can get the wreath hung up and I chose a doormat that didn't have a festive theme to it when I say festive like not Christmassy or anything like that because for this instance I just rather have a doormat out for the winter season and that be that not always switching everything out for this occasion that occasion I have long been past that part of my life in my decor where I felt like every season, every this, every that, I needed to change things out. But it is coming to that time where we are needing like doormats and stuff. And I just want to decorate the outside because I've been here over a year and I have not done anything to the outside whatsoever. So yeah, this was only $13. Um, it is from the Wonder Shop which is their Christmas, I don't know, what do you call it? It's their, their Christmas line. Wonder Shop only comes out during the Christmas time. And so I like the fact that they actually made a doormat that wasn't highly festive, but just enough to cover you for the winter season. Love that because that can stay out all winter long. I'll have the wreath up top joy and home yes they go hand in hand uh-huh then i'll have that one up and when christmas is over i can take that down and go about my business all right
They moved the H and M too. Okay. Thank you. 